Um, before I get to a policy question, just a question about the nature of your job. Yeah. Is it your intention to always tell the truth from that podium, and will you pledge never to knowingly say something that is not factual? It is. It's an honor to do this, and uh, yes, I believe that we have to be honest with the American people. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. There are certain things that um, we may miss, we may not fully understand when we come out, but our intention is never to lie to you, Jonathan. Um, our job is to make sure that sometimes, and you're in the same boat. I mean, there are times when you guys tweet something out or write a story and you publish a correction. That doesn't mean that you were intentionally trying to deceive readers and the American people, does it? And I think we should be afforded the same opportunity. There are times when we believe something to be true or we get something from an agency uh, or we act in haste because the information available wasn't complete, but our desire to communicate with the American people and make sure that you have the most complete story at the time. And so we do it. But again, I, I think that when you look net net, um, we, we're going to do our best every time we can. I'm going to come out here and tell you the facts as I know them. And if we make a mistake, I'll do our best to correct it. Uh, but I, I don't, I think that it's, a, it's as I mentioned the other day, it, it is a two-way street. There are many mistakes that the media makes all the time. They, they misreport something, they don't report something, they get a fact wrong. I don't think that's always, an, you know, to, to turn around and say, okay, you were intentionally lying. I think we all go try to do our best job and do it with a degree of integrity that, that are in our respective industries. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.